We won. We got we got Angfa, we won. Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between. We won. Prepared and prepared and prepared and prepared and prepared. Hey pterodactyls, hey pterodactyls, it's your resident homosaurus here. It's your resident homosaurus here. And today I'm gonna to be reacting to And today I'm gonna to be reacting to Oh my god, I can't watch. I can't look. Lisa! <laughs> Just on the basis that this is emotionally hurting me. Jeez. I was never, that was, that, that hit, that hit different. Hey Pterodactyls, it's your resident homosaurus here. And today I'm gonna to be reacting to Engfa and Charlotte videos on Highway Turtle 2 channel. Now, this was highly requested for me to react to this channel's content specifically. Um, I did watch the prologue, so I'm not sure. I believe I was told that the first few videos are basically a repeat of what I learned in the prologue. So I think I was told to start from episode 8, but I tried to find the comment telling me what specific episode to react to and I couldn't find it. I couldn't find any kind of comment saying what one to start off on. I could have swore I was told to start off on episode 8 or maybe 6 or 10. I don't know. So <laughs> I decided 8 and if I was wrong and I have to go back, I will go back. But I believe episode 8 is where I was told to start reacting to. So I hope I'm right. If I'm wrong, I apologize and I will go back if I have to or I'll go forward if I have to. But um, yeah. I'm here to react to episode 8 of the Highway Turtle 2 kind of journey? Uh, or season? I don't know. Episodes. They're in episodes, so I'm going to say it's season, but um, just all their kind of episodes of Angfa and Charlotte. So I'm starting off on episode 8, and it looks like it's an interview. They're at a table, and it looks like they're being interviewed, so I think that that's what this is. But I, I didn't see this in the prologue, so I'm... Assuming I'm technically in the right ballpark of where I should start reacting to them. So yeah, I'm excited. I learned a lot about them and kind of their history through the prologue. And I kind of really love their chemistry together and how they interact with each other. I started watching Charlotte's TikToks and I also watched um, them perform on stage together as well as an interview that they had with, um, it was like the Tiger Live that they had. So I kind of already am getting a sense of their dynamic together, but this is earlier, I'm assuming, because it says it's a, it was uploaded a year ago. So this is earlier than the Tiger interview that I just watched, which was from May. So I'm kind of curious to see just kind of how they're, how they developed because this I'm assuming is after the pageant and I'm quite curious to see their interaction here and then kind of knowing what their interactions are like right now around this kind of time so yeah I'm excited to get into this and just see kind of how they are together and back in the back in the day <laughs> so yeah let's just get right into this Oh, but before we do get into this, I just want to thank all my Patreons. You guys are absolutely amazing. I cannot thank you guys enough. You guys are what makes this all possible. And love you guys. Okay, I'm assuming that this appears to be an interview directly after the pageant because they have their sashes on. So I'm assuming this is pretty close to how where the prologue ended or if it's not like part of it. I don't know. I might have messed up on what episode to watch first. I hope I didn't, but let's just get right into this and see <laughs> see if I messed up or not. <laughs> Ooh. Oh wow, right off the bat, huh? Okay. <laughs> 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 
เริ่มพอพอจะเห็นบ้างมีมีเยอะมีเยอะคนที่มีเสน่ห์ในกล่องในไหนนะในกล่องขอโทษอีกแล้วอ่ะขอโทษนะคะขอโทษด้านไทยนี่นะจะหมื่นคนนะครับนี่เป็นเก้าพันแปดสายหลุดเลย so this is so this is during the ไม่เจ็บไม่เจ็บไม่เจ็บไม่เจ็บนะทุกคนไม่เจ็บแค่เสียงแค่เสียงมือพี่ฟ้าเล็กน่ารักจะตายอะไรแบบเจ็บเออก็คือเริ่มเริ่มเจอกันแล้วมีมีในกล่องนั่นแหละ Are they hinting at Charlotte here? So okay, so I I messed up. So this is clearly, um, during the pageant. But I never seen this interview in the prologue, so I didn't know that this actually happened. But. Heidi and Angfa are doing an interview. I, what I remember from the prologue is that Heidi and Angfa had a ship together. I believe, right? They kind of had a ship, and then, um, like Charlotte came in, and <laughs> clearly <laughs> that ship sailed. But uh, interesting. So this is uh, an interview while the pageant's going on, and they're asking uh, her type, and then. She made a comment how there's a lot of attractive women in the pageant, and <laughs> that was totally I don't think what they're hitting for because they're talking about a romantic partner, and she started talking about the pageant. <laughs> But interesting, interesting. Mm. I heard a lot about how. They had to be careful, Charlotte and Angfa, because of the whole pageant situation. They couldn't kind of pursue anything further if they wanted to because of their obligations. Okay, so I was right. Yeah. So Heidi and Angfa had a ship before. <laughs> อย่าช็อตไม่เสร็แล้วแหละก็จะมีแบบบางมุมที่น่ารักน่ารักแบบเหมือนเด็กอะไรเงี้ยแล้วก็บางมุมที่เราเห็นเขาก็ค่อนข้างที่จะแมนเหมือนกันแบบไม่ยอมโอ้ไอ้ซาลาถ้าเจอเรื่องอะไรที่แบบว่ามาไม่ดีอะไรเงี้ย they had they had their little moments in the tiger interview ใช่แล้วใครจะมาเห็นแบบว่าด้วยความให้ดีแบบเป็นคนอย่างนี้ใช่ไหมเราบางทีเราไม่ได้กล้าพูดเท่าไหร่หรือว่าเราก็แบบ Yeah, uh, Charlotte definitely seems a little old in person. Oh, Charlotte, girl, she is a very affectionate person, isn't she? In there, Charlotte. But. So this is definitely during the pageant. So I totally messed this one up. <laughs> I apologize, everyone. Spill the tea, sis. Who was it? Who was it? Come on, you gotta spill the tea now. You can't just sprinkle that on us and then not spill. 
ี่เขากำลังจะเต้นเพลงของอิงฟ้านะครับรักเขาใครบอกเลยใครบอกอิงหลอดลมคะเด็กๆแล้วค่ะ Charlotte calling out everyone <laughs> Not Sh Charlotte ready to fight for her own ship. <gasps> we won. We won. We got we got Angfa. We won, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between. We won. ในเรื่องของเพศอยู่แล้วไม่ได้จํากัดคือไม่ได้ไม่ได้จํากัดว่าต้องเป็นผู้หญิงผู้ชายเป็นทอมเป็นอะไรก็แล้วแต่อยู่ที่ความสบายใจแล้วก็ความสุขมากกว่าเป็นแบบนี้มานานแล้วด้วยจริงจริงเคยคบผู้ชายมาก่อนเคยคบผู้ชายเคยคบทั้งทอมแล้วก็ผู้หญิงใช่แล้วปัจจุบันเรานิยามเราว่าเป็นเลสเป็นทอมเป็นดี้หรือเป็นอะไรไหมคะจริงๆไม่อยากจํากัดเลยอ่ะเพราะว่าถ้าเป็นเลสก็คือมันก็จะต้องแบบเป็นผู้หญิงอย่างเดียวใช่ไหมคะแต่นี้คือเหมือนแบบเป็นไบเซ็กชวลมากกว่าอืม Okay, so she identifies herself as bisexual. That's me. That's kind of a messed up question to ask. I. Who's this interviewer? I hate it. I hate it when people do that. Like, oh, are you a lesbian because men let you down, or oh, are you bisexual and started going to women because of men? Like, you know, you're not finding the right man. Like. Anyways, sorry. ไม่นะคะเพราะที่ผ่านมาก็มีทั้งแบบมีทั้งดีและไม่ดีซึ่งก็ไม่ได้อยากจะไปจำกัดการพบกับผู้ชายแล้วเราไม่ดีนะคะก็มีข้อดีข้อเสียแตกต่างกันไปแต่ว่าความเข้าใจ I'm so proud of her for speaking out about this. ความสะดวกใจของเราบางทีแบบคุยกับพบกับผู้หญิงก็อาจจะมีแบบมีมุมน่ารักน่ารักมากกว่าแฟนคลับกลุ่มค่ะนี้คือเยอะขึ้นมากอยากบอกอะไรพวกเขาไหมคะก็อยากจะบอกว่าอยากให้ยอมรับตัวตนที่ตัวเองเป็นค่ะแล้วก็ยืนอยู่บนสังคมโดยที่ไม่ต้องไปอายใครไม่ต้องกลัวการบูลลี่หรือว่าการโดนเหยียดเป็นแบบที่เราเป็นเพราะว่าสิ่งที่เราเป็นเรื่องความรักและก็มีความรักที่ค่าใครตายเพราะฉะนั้นก็ตอนนี้ที่หนูมองคือมุมแรกของเรื่องของเอลจีบีตอนนี้เหมือนเรามีเสียงที่ดังมากขึ้นขยะจะออกมาบอกว่าไม่ว่าคุณจะเป็นเพศอะไรความรักเป็นสิ่งสวยงามเสมออย่าไปแบบบูลลี่หรือว่าอย่าไปว่าใครเพียงว่า Yes, Queen. Oh my God. I. Angfa. I already was a little bit, you know, fangirling over you, but now. ก็จะแฉอะไรก็เคยบอกไปแล้วอ่ะก็บอกไปแล้วว่าเรายังเคยแบบตอนที่คบผู้ชายก็เคยพาไปออกรายการนู่นนี่นั่นคือเราก็บอกไปแล้วเราไม่ได้บอกว่าเราเคยคบเคยคบมาแล้วหลายเพศสภาพก็มันไม่มีอะไรให้แฉเพราะว่าก็บอกไปหมดแล้วอ่ะ I love how open she is about this I I hate this because How, who are you to sit there and dictate that other people are using LGBT for fame? Like being part of the community for fame? Like, I don't know. I have issues with all of that. I even have issues with people saying that Charlotte is using it for fame and she's just using it for the ship because... She's been so wishy-washy and back and forth about like, oh, she doesn't like girls. Oh, she likes girls, but she doesn't. She only likes Angfa, and she doesn't like other girls. Like, I hate when people try to say that finding your sexuality and discovering your sexuality is so black and white. It's like you liked girls, so you have to be. Oh, you liked guys, so like you have to be straight, or you know, they like you pick a side, or um, like. 
I'm going to use Charlotte as an example, okay? I, I'm still new to this fandom. I don't know. I haven't really watched a lot of their stuff, so I'm not really sure about their sexualities. Like, clearly, she just said she's bisexual, so I kind of know about Angfa's sexuality now. But the one thing I hated was how people were saying Charlotte has to be um, either bicurious or just, like, straight, but using this as, like, a, a fame kind of thing just because of the things she said. And, oh, she said she liked girls before and she had a thing with a girl, but then she only dated men, and because she only dated men, she can't be uh, uh, into women or queer or whatever. I don't understand how you could be a part of this community and judge how other people... judge other people's journey. Like, personally, I struggled a lot coming out. My family were really supportive, but I struggled a lot when I was, you know, a little bit younger when I came out, but I struggled a lot trying to figure out just what my sexuality was. And you got to realize these are young women. They're in their, what, early 20s, mid 20s. And it's okay if they're still figuring out their sexuality. You can't because they're in such a big spotlight, like, they have people grabbing onto them and, like, picking up, picking apart every single little thing they say. I get it. They said, Charlotte said before that she was into women, and then she said, oh, maybe not. Oh, she's into, only into Angfa, not other women. Let this girl figure out her sexuality. Don't go nitpicking and saying, oh, because she said this, she can't possibly be LGBTQ. Oh, because she did this, she can't possibly be straight. These are young women trying to figure out their sexuality. Angfa clearly is one of the lucky ones who figured it out when she was, like, right now while she's young. You have women in their 40s, 50s, like, with families finally figuring out and coming to terms with their sexuality. You can't say it's so black and white that, oh, because you've only ever been with guys, you can't possibly be bisexual. You can't possibly be, you know, a lesbian because you've been with guys. Like, you don't have to have been with the same gender to know your sexuality. You don't have to have that experience to know what you feel inside. And it's okay if you don't know what you feel inside right now. Nobody's telling you... No, or nobody should be telling you that you have to figure out everything at any point in your life. Because what I always believe is sexuality is a journey. And nobody should make you feel ashamed for trying to discover that. And maybe going back and forth. It's okay. It's not like you're stuck in a box. It's not like, oh, you thought you were this way and now you think you might be that way. You're not sure. Oh, you have to try it. Don't let anybody stop you from exploring your sexuality and trying to figure out who you are. And I just find it so unfortunate that because they're so, like, in the spotlight, like, they have a, a girl like me from Canada watching them. Like, there are so many people around the world watching them, and then you have those people who are so obsessed that they nitpick everything, and then they use it against them. And it's just, I don't understand... And then you wonder why people are so afraid to come out and are so afraid to say something because if they say, oh, uh, I don't like girls. I like just like Angfa, okay? Like I'm just picking what somebody told me about how they discredited Charlotte's sexuality. They said, oh, because she said she liked girls, but then she said she doesn't like girls. She only likes Angfa and she doesn't like other girls that she can't possibly be queer. She must be bi-curious. Like... Let the girl figure it out. Don't start hating on her because she's so unsure. It's okay for her to be unsure. It's not for you to decide her sexuality and to say she's not a part of the community just because of some things she's said. Like, I just, I, I just, I struggle with that because I find even the queer community themselves, like, we have people who don't really like that when people explore their sexuality. If they're so unsure, they're like, oh... Oh, she was, um, she said she was bisexual, but then she went to become a lesbian, but then she says she's bisexual again, or she's pansexual, she's going back and forth. Like, that's not okay. Like, she needs to figure out her sexuality. Like, don't 
put do that to people. Like, let them just live and try to figure themselves out. I just, it's, if you figured out your sexuality and you know for sure you're a lesbian or you're bisexual or you're gay or you're whatever, that's great for you. I'm proud of you. Because that doesn't happen to a lot. Like, a lot of people don't have that. They struggle with not just, like, internally, but, like, just, like, the social, economical, like, there's just so many other factors that can affect somebody figuring out their sexuality like culturally, it's just like there's so many factors and to just hate on somebody because they're not sure and to s- just, I don't know, I just, I just view this as two young women. Angfa says, like clearly states she knows her sexuality, she's bisexual. Or she views herself as a bisexual, even though she said she doesn't want to label herself, but, you know, we're all about labels in this world, so she's labeling herself as bisexual. But just let Charlotte figure it out. And if she did say what she is, and I didn't see this interview yet or whatever, wherever she said it, I apologize. But I, like I said, I don't know a lot of about this couple yet, and I haven't seen, like, a lot of interviews or anything, so I'm not too sure about how Charlotte identifies herself, but just let the poor woman figure it out. Please, (laughs) just let her figure it out. Like, don't sit there and discredit her on her journey. And if it takes her years, let it take her years. Whatever makes her comfortable in her own skin and in her own love life. (laughs) Uh, I, I hope any of that made sense. I don't know. I, I go on rants and then I lose my train of thought and then I just want to get so much out there. I just, I don't know. Bottom line, just let people figure out their sexuality and don't try to lay, put them in a box and don't be upset if they jump back and forth between what they think their sexuality is because they're figuring it out. And we should be proud of them for trying to figure it out. And if it turns out that she only likes guys, that's good for her. You know, like let her just figure it out (laughs) and don't get on here and try to just tear her apart because you think that you know what her sexuality is when she does like she might not even know what her own sexuality is like I hate that especially among our like the community like how some people are just so quick to discredit other people's sexuality just because it doesn't align with what you view for them I don't know, man. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's continue on. That that turned into a long rant. ตอนนี้ไม่มีค่ะเพราะว่าตั้งแต่เข้ากองมาเราก็เพิ่งเค้าเรียกว่าอะไรอ่ะ <laughs> ละความสําคัญไปจากจากที่เราเคยแบบที่ที่คบกันอยู่อะไรอย่างเงี้ยอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่าอ่า
ออกมาพูดอะไรเยอะเพราะกลัวว่ามันจะเป็นการกดดันเขาซึ่งเราก็ให้เกียรติเขาด้วย Like it's hard when you have like so many people trying to nitpick your life through interviews and lives and ความน่ารักคือจริงๆอ่ะถ้าเราจะเล่นกระแสกันจริงๆเราทําได้มากกว่านี้อีกเราออกมาปล่อยความสวีทสร้างกระแสแบบให้ให้ได้มากกว่านี้แต่ก็คือเราปล่อยตามความธรรมชาติสิ่งที่มันจะเกิดขึ้นโมเมนต์ต่างๆที่ทุกคนได้เอาไปจิ้นกันก็คือมันเกิดขึ้นโดยธรรมชาติโดยที่เราไม่ต้องมานั่งฟิกหรือมานั่งบอกกันว่าแบบเฮ้ยทำแบบนี้แบบนี้อะไรเงี้ยค่ะแล้วน้องเขาวันแรกที่เขาจะไปวันนี้เขาก็เป็นเหมือนเดิมใช่เขาหนูไม่เคยเห็นว่าเขาจะต้องแบบพี่ฟ้าแบบเข้ามาเล่นด้วยเวลาที่มีกล้องหรืออะไรอย่างเงี้ยก็คือไม่มีเราทั้งคู่ก็คือก็คือปล่อยทุกอย่างให้เป็นธรรมชาตินี้คือสิ่งที่เราชอบแล้วน้องเขาก็เป็นคนเล่นตลอดเวลาที่เป็นลุงเมทกันเขาก็แบบแต่เราเขาก็เชียร์แบบมากมากกระแสดีมากหลายคนฟิตมากอะไรอย่างเงี้ย so much that they made a TV show together ถ้าคุยกับน้องอยู่ว่าหนูถามว่าซีเรียสไหมกับกับตอนช่วงแรกๆที่มีมีกระแสดราม่านู่นนี่นั่นอะไรเงี้ยถามว่าหนูเครียดไหมน้องก็บอกโอ้ยพี่ฟ้าหนูไม่หนูไม่เครียดเลยหนูไม่รู้จะเครียดทําไมเพราะว่าเราแคร์คนที่เขาแบบดูเราแล้วเขามีความสุขดีกว่าคือบางคนที่เขาจิ้นอ่ะถ้าเขามีความสุขก็คือปล่อยให้เขามีความสุขไปเราก็มีหน้าที่เหมือนแบบสร้างความสุขให้ให้คนที่เขาแบบก็แปลว่าได้คุยกันในเรื่องของมันเกิดขึ้นมีคุยมีคุยถามว่าหนูตัวหนูว่าไม่อะไรหรอกแต่คือถามน้องเขาว่าเขาโอเคมากแล้วก็โอเคมากมากน้องเขาไม่ได้คือน้องเขาสตรองมากค่ะกับกับปัญหาดราม่าหนูไม่เคยเห็นน้องเขาเครียดเลยมีแต่เรานี่แหละเครียดใช่คือน้องแบบ I like that they made sure that they were both comfortable with what people put onto them oh it's done okay that's nice that they kind of touched base with each other and was like I know like there's a lot of people who ship us are are you okay with that like you know like are you are, Do you want us to kind of like maybe keep our distance, or are you okay with us just like going about like our interactions like normal, and then just letting them look into it, do whatever they want with it? Um, I like that. I like that they touch base with each other because it could go very sour if they weren't on the same page about it. So I like that. But clearly, I <laughs> watched the wrong episode, <laughs> and this was during the pageant. So I. I guess what what would have been episode ten then that they wanted me to watch is that what that was it episode ten I don't know I'm sure you all will let me know in the comment section down below but I like seeing that it got a bit more of an inside to how they kind of navigated the situation because it, I can't even imagine how difficult it would be to be in the spotlight and especially for something like LGBT related. Because of the fact that it's, it's not like a popular thing to be a part of. Like there's still so many places in the world that are not accepting of the community, and even places like Canada, who we have gay marriage, we have like, you know, laws in place to help and support queer the queer community, and like we can't be discriminated against. There's even though there's laws in place for that. You still get people who, for whatever reason, spread hate within Canada over the LGBT community. So even when you have a supportive country, it just it's there's not always a lot of supportive people. And yes, they've gotten worldwide because of their ship, but it, like being part of a queer ship is not like a popular thing. <laughs> it's popular within the community because we don't get to see that often, especially. With like real life people, you don't see them accepting of it and like playing off of it, and you know, kind of accepting that role that people kind of see them in. So the fact that Angfa is very open about her sexuality, as somebody in a beauty pageant who's like pretty well known, and being part of a kind of queer ship. It's nice that they talk about it and they communicate with each other, and they're okay with still interacting with each other and being themselves with each other, knowing that there's probably going to be a lot of people out there who nitpick every interaction they have. So 
I just cannot commend them enough for being open about their own sexualities and for kind of giving the queer community a good spokesperson and role model to look up to and to see that, hey, if a beauty queen who is pretty well known can be out and proud and defend her sexuality against people who think it's just because (laughs) she had bad relationships with men. Um, Like, I can't praise her enough and praise them enough for kind of pushing this issue because from what my understanding is, Thailand doesn't have gay marriage rights and I know they're trying to push for it, but to see that we have people like Freen and Becky and Angfa and Charlotte and just like, you know, making it so I guess, well, it popular or just so like more in your face and not like hidden. It just, it's making and giving the community a positive light and just showing that we're here, we're real, we're successful and we can make it like our stories can make it if that makes sense i don't know i'm just i'm just so proud of them and i adore that they have good communication and that they're both okay with being kind of like this queer icon i guess like like their ship and like it's clearly made it to canada so it's um it's nice to see that they're kind of good with it and they're not kind of shying away from it and trying to like you know dissuade people from uh shipping them I guess you would say or just like appreciating their chemistry and their relationship together so yeah I'd like to see more I guess I I don't know just let me know in the comment section down below like if I there's a certain episode you want me to react to or if I reacted too early into it and if I should be reacting to episode like 20 or something. I don't know where I got episode 8 from. I clearly was wrong, so. (laughs) But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to keep you updated on when I drop more content. Stay safe, everyone.